some hope, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. Yeah, I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done. Make real progress. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was, is, a real mess. Wait, what kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. You know, I've heard about you. In charge of the Minutemen, ain't you? No idea why you'd waste your time with those has-beens. I ain't no genius, but as far as I'm concerned, history already proved what they're after. It ain't gonna work. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should... Go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack? Hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then... We get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But 
One step at a time. You in? Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. You can head on in, overboss. Sorry, Max. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or at least a vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. You looking for the boss? That'd be mad.
such thing as junk, as far as I'm concerned. Everything's got a use. Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coltar. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Taking down an opponent like that? It's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Um... Soda? Huh. Not quite. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Hey, Mags. Looking to get your hands dirty? You're in the right place. Job came across my lap. Yours if you want it. Your wish is my command. Glad to hear it. A contact of ours is looking to have someone disposed of. You'd be the one putting them down. Who am I up against? Someone who's earned it. I wouldn't worry yourself much beyond that. I hope you're not under the impression I do this for nothing. Not to worry, Overboss. Successful jobs don't go unpaid among the operators. My kind of work. Excellent. Best of luck. Mags, William, and Lizzie. All have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. Caught one of the traders stealing food. 
outside the gate. Welcome to the nest, boss. We were if you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Yes. You a sheep or a wolf? No, I walked right up. Most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. You need help finding your place here? No, no, I can handle it. There's plenty of colors in the kit. It ain't easy keeping it here. We all do our part. <laughs> Now that I get a closer look at you, I'm not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck's a resume? Whatever, don't matter. Name's Mason. The pack's out of it. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss for now, but I'm the boss of the pack. And it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that. We're gonna be fine. Your people aren't gonna cause me any problems, are they? The pack does what I tell them. You don't get in my way, they don't get in yours. Let's work together, Mason. I'm not interested in ruining your gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Cobra. Just figured on his replacement being, well... Different. Gage says you're the boss. That's so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other games would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to. You turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black. That freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. But we thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He's laying in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to... Take stock in what we achieve. Things could be worse. Trust me. I've seen it. No shit. We've all seen it worse. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chip of bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But Gage put the brakes on that, got us together, and promised he'd find someone to deal with cold. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I know what I've heard. The story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. You can trust me. I'll be a good leader. No offense, you just got here. We'll see what you can do. Look, let's cut to the chase. You want to be right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. I intend to treat all the gangs equally. Ain't no two things in this world that's truly equal, boss. But everything has its place. One gang is gonna end up on top, and one on the bottom. It's a simple law of nature. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty is a two-way street. What's up? You busy? 
I got something for you. Sure. Or whatever you need. In here, I thought I'd have to soften you up more. I want to cause a little ruckus for our so-called friends, the operators. They made what they think is a powerful ally. Little do they know, alliances with corpses don't last long. If you catch my meaning. Who will I be facing? Just some raider shit stains. Sounds fun. Go get them. Life's too short for bullshit. Got a party like it's your last day. Every day. That could come in handy. Yeah? Mason tarred and feathered the last outlet. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they? Sure, we carry guns, but not that. It's not funny. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. <sighs> that last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Watch yourself, boss. Because we. We should run this place. Not some little greenie Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Nisha. She's in charge. <laughs> Don't look like much to me. You want to talk? Talk to Nisha. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Now I tell you, when Atlas hears this, he gets angry beyond all Pet project? What's that supposed to mean? Gage didn't say anything. Apparently, we're not good enough to run this place ourselves. Gage wanted to bring in his own little puppy to replace Coulter. But I guess training a puppy is way easier than getting us to do what he wants. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet, you killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss, but that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with us, you'll soon find out. 
just don't slack off when it comes to actually doing your job. We got Coulter Nuka Town, and suddenly he forgot the big picture. We both know how that turned out. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. How's it hanging? Hey, I got something you'll want to look into. Whatever it is, I'll take care of it. Well, aren't you agreeable? Some trade deal's gone south. I want you to go make sure we keep what's ours and take what's theirs. Along with their sad little lives. Sign me up. I figured you might be into that. Just crazies? Just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath? Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it in you. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, 
and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Plant a flag? Are you serious? Dead serious. Look, you leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves the space. A lot of these idiots can't read, so it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what to watch for. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. Excuse me. We heading out? I just need to trade some things with you. Sure thing. Lighten your low as much as the next guy, but you might be overdoing it. Look alive. What's up, boss? 